holding in my hand strands of spider silk. Spider silk happens to be one of the strongest substances known to man. So strong, in fact, that the United States military has been developing bulletproof vests made from it. But a spider did not produce this silk. It was, in fact, produced by a goat. The goat's name is Trixie, and she produces spider silk in her milk. Yes, you heard me correctly. A goat that produces spider silk. To help us understand why and how this is possible, we've asked Dr. Gino Conti, lead geneticist of TGen Laboratories, to join us. Welcome, Dr. Conti. Well, thank you, Margaret. Please explain the method to your madness. Well, in this case, we take a specific silk-producing gene from a spider and place it in bacteria. The bacteria are then injected into the egg of a goat. As the animal develops, the modified gene allows the new goat to produce the protein that makes silk and then we extract that from the goat's milk. Fascinating. And consequently, you can harvest a useful supply of this miraculous substance. Well, yes. A lot more than we could ever get from a spider. <laughs> and now, Dr. Conti, I've run into some rather strange animals while I've been here at TGen. And just across the building, I found a pen full of green glowing pigs, which I found rather odd. Could you explain this to us? Well, those animals have been engineered with pigment genes from phosphorescent jellyfish. And the color helps us track bone grafts and other medical procedures in non-engineered animals. Amazing. Now, Dr. Conti, given the radical nature of your research, are you ever concerned about creating a hybrid animal that could perhaps harm our delicate ecological balance and maybe even hurt or kill humans? Well, we're confident that the animals we create here uh, simply could not survive the natural selection process. We've taken all safeguards and security protocol uh, with every project here at TGen. Well, thank you for your time, Dr. Conti. And now, back to you, John, in the studio. Well, thank you again, Dr. Conti. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate it. It's been very, very kind. <laughs> thank you for your time. Thank you. Have a good night. See you. Enjoy. Thanks. Hey, Dino. Hey, Wilkins. How's his appetite? Good. And four rats today. He's happy. Fat and sassy. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you, big boy, huh? You. Yeah. That's my boy right here. <laughs> Mr. Conti. Mr. Conti, may I have your autograph? Do you, do you need an agent? I'll be your agent, okay. Give it a rest, Frankie. <laughs> Actually, that went pretty well. He did a good job. I prefer to stay out of the news. Well, forget the news, bro. It's fight night. Batista and Evans, a rematch, huh? And you good buddy Mendoza's bring the refreshments. All right, Mendoza. Yeah. 
told you I'd make it up to you. Mm. I thought you said you were going to bring some weed. Don't worry. You won't have to smoke any of that once you've had some of this. <laughs> Is this the other cards or the main event? The main. Start the first round. Well, this should prove to be quite a matchup, Bob. Here we go, Frankie. Go to your room. You hear me? Go to your fucking room! <sighs> this was not my idea of parenthood. Sure, Mendoza was an asshole, but he didn't deserve this. He deserved it, you know? I hate to say it, but he deserved it. Total asshole. You saw what he did the other night. And that thing that had just killed him, that thing was my son. I was a man of science committed to the relentless pursuit of discoveries for the benefit of mankind. Yet how had I unleashed this horrible thing into the world? To fully explain what I had done, I'd have to go back to the day I met his mother. Hey, babe. Hey, are you coming in? Yeah, I'm coming in soon. We're still on for the credit. No, I can't, I can't go there today. Oh, we've got a new specimen arriving. I'm going to work late. But you promised. Oh, damn. What? Oh, no. Are you okay? Ah, ah Coyote got another one of my chickens. No, not fuzzy. Oh, no. I just can't seem to keep him out of the pens. Ah. Should we call the sheriff? No, it's fine. It's fine. No, I can do it work. Serious? Yeah, we'll freeze it. Are you sure? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. We got everything we need at work. Are you sure we can? We've got the cryo unit. We've got the containers. Oh, okay, I guess. No, it's no big deal. That's what we do, remember? So, honey, there's this show I really want to see. It's called An Infant Story. Mm -hmm. And I forgot. 
forgot to record it. Can you record it for me? What channel? Uh, it's called the Baby Channel. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. This is totally beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, you recording it? Yeah, no, I TiVo'd it. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so I was uh, talking to my friend Katie at the gym, and she and her husband are doing in vitro, and they said it took them like eight months. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm just really worried. It's going to take a long time. That's why I don't want to miss this appointment. Uh-huh. Oh, damn. It's nothing. Are you, uh, are you okay? No, it's fine. It's fine. No, I'll see you later. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Okay, All right. Hey, um, Harrison. Yeah! Hey, G. Hey, what's the deal? Only one container of milk? What's going on? Tricks the old now on you? Listen, I spaced, I started making my latte with something. <laughs> well, every scientific luminary has his Achilles heel. No, listen, Frankie. I discovered that an espresso steamer wand can congeal Spider goat protein. Well, you might want to watch it, bro. Dobson says the spooks have been sniffing around again, demanding a tighter ship, procedure accountability logs and whatnot, especially on this new project. Sir, yes, sir. Gina, these government agent types do not salute. It's all about the secret handshake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, good morning, Gino. Frank? Good morning, good morning. Gina. A new reptile come here. I should be clearing security in about 20 minutes. Wait, 20 minutes? All right, I forgot I've got to do something. Chill this for me, would you, Frankie? Well, hello, Mr. Conti. What can I do for you? Are you here to see Mr. Dobson? No, actually, I need to verify network settings between this office and my computer. Did you forget your network permissions again? Yeah. Would you like me to write them down for you? Well, if if you don't mind uh, coming to my office, uh, I would that'd be great. I think I can spare a moment. I'll be back in a minute, Fred. Do you have some data for me, Mr. Conti? Well, I will in a minute. Can't you just do this in the bathroom with a magazine or something? This is a high security building, ma'am. We don't allow that kind of material here. Um, and why would I want a magazine when I've got this incredibly gorgeous, beautiful, sexy, wonderful fiance that works right down the hall? Are you sure it'll be okay? It's gonna be okay. And I'll drop off the crime unit. And then you can drop it off. After work, you wanna get it to the lab to the clinic yeah. today. Yes, I okay. do. Well, then we better get started because I've got to be in the Chimera lab in about 15 minutes. Well, okay. Okay. Let's check those network connections, Mr. Conti. Who are you? Procuring some primate gametes. Unbelievable. Okay, place it right there. She's feeling pretty docile. She's uh, had four tranks today. Lucy, say hi to Gino. <laughs> hey, Lucy. Nice to finally meet you. Lucy was a transgenic reptile, part Komodo dragon, part iguana, and part snake, the result of six years of classified genetic engineering by the Defense Sciences Office. We were to insert active genes from a rhesus monkey into her eggs, and we speculated about what the spooks planned to do with the resulting offspring. Frankie thought it was something sinister. As usual, information regarding this project was on a need-to-know basis only. Give me the antibiotics. Come on, 
even look. Not good. We've got to clean this thing out right away. Go in and neutralize saliva before septicemia sets in. Just do it. Just do it. We'll be all right. We'll no. be okay. Listen, we're going to give you some pain medication in a second, but I got to go in and clean this thing out right away, all right? Dang it! And I thought four shots was too much. We're going to have to heavily tranquilize Lucy to get her into the pen. Then extract her gametes. How's Wilkins? He's fine. We got to him in time. Good thing there's only one of her. I hate to be confronted by a pack of Lucy's. It could still happen, you know. Lucy is one-third Komodo dragon, so it is very likely that she could procreate with herself in captivity, just like a standard Komodo. It's called parthenogenesis. So basically, she can fuck herself to make babies. That's rather a crass way of putting it, Frank, but yes, you could say that. Hey, Rach, you should look into that. You know, it might be a little easier on Gina than uh, milking him twice a day. Gino? What? I didn't say any... Frank! You're still going a little dehydrated. Fine. So we're trying to have a baby. We're just planning ahead. We've got the science here. We're just taking chance out of the equation. There's no big secret. Did I hear that correctly? Gino? Rachel? A little scientist? Oh, that is absolutely fantabulous! A prodigy geneticist for sure. Well, this calls for a celebration. Mm -hmm. I got that bottle of bubbly I've been saving for something like no, this. I don't know if there's cause for celebration just yet. That's number 14 on our list. Nonsense, the two of you are starting a new life. Married or not, you're planning for a family. Hey Rachel, um, when are you moving into Gina's trailer? Actually, we're gonna look at condos this weekend. We're gonna be discussing that. Condo? Aw, oh, come on, Rach. You, you like milk and goats, don't you? Frankie? What are we celebrating? Gino and Rachel are making babies. Oh, well, congratulations then. Thank you. Oh! 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 <laughs> All right, party! Here's to the little geneticist. Thank you. Hey, Julie, I meant to ask you. Any complications getting Lucy past the local authorities? Well, it's the craziest thing. I was expecting a few questions, but Lucy got a free pass, slam dunk. All authorized by Mr. Hoff... <clears throat> Hoffmeyer. Agent Richard Hoffmeyer, Defense Sciences Office. And this is Agent Jenkins. Well, cheer up, people. This is your lucky day. You've all been chosen to work under very close scrutiny on a very special project. How'd we get so lucky? Well, Mr. Frank Rizzoli, your Chimera Lab here was handpicked. Is this where you all eat? Well, sometimes there's a burrito wagon out front. You came highly recommended by DARPA, specifically for your cousin Mr. Conti's innovation. It's Dr. Conti. And I'm trusting that you'll all work very hard to reassure us that we made the right decision. As you probably already know, our team, headed up by Dr. Conti here, has developed our own proprietary RDNA methodology. Tell him, Gino. Thank you, Fred. Our proprietary RDNA methodology, along with our innovative vector DNA, have yielded high success rates in both embryonic stem cell method and pronucleus method transgenic. We can create animals with transgenes from a dozen or more different animals, mate two of them, and then Thank create Thank you them. very much, Miss Anderson, but we're quite aware of your capabilities here. Okay, listen up. Agent Jenkins and I have been with Lucy from day one. She means the world to us. In fact, starting right now, on this project, I'm your new director. You understand? I'm the new buck on this project. Nothing passes me. I want to see every report, every research note. If Lucy even so much as farts or hiccups, I want to know about it. Point is, people, we're gonna be working real close together on this one, like one big happy family. And as your new director and your co-director, we're gonna be visiting here from Washington several times a month with video conferences twice a week. Any questions, Mr. Rizzoli? Uh, it's Frankie, and um, how long do you see this project being our happy family? <laughs> it depends on your results. Or as long as it takes. There you go. Any other questions? Yes, sir. What is Jenkins' specialty?
Miss Anderson, what records do you keep? Everything from charts of all the ESLs we create to tissue culture logs to basic safety checklists. I'll need access to all of that. Oh, yes, of course. We can provide you with as much as... of safety, Mr. Dobson. I understand there was a little accident involving Lucy earlier today? Well, yes, but Mr. Hoffmeyer, that's very atypical. Let me offer. make one thing perfectly clear. That hybrid lizard is my personal responsibility. And if anyone neglects to tell me anything about Lucy, they better fess up quick because I take my personal responsibility very seriously. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Very well, then. Get back to work. Mind if I have a look? Your sperm are not viable, I'm afraid. Non-obstructive azospermia of this type is generally not reversible. Doc, what are you talking about? Look at the sperm. It's healthy. Look how active it is. Look at them. They're oh, healthy. Oh, I'm sorry. Those aren't your sperm. Those are mine. I was doing a comparison analysis. Here's your sperm. Isn't there something we can do? I mean, Gina, there's something we can do, right? Adoption. Well, that's why I asked you to come down here, to discuss your options at this point. Now, as you know, we are a sperm bank. So, we could find another donor for no. you. No. Gino and I are getting married soon. I'm gonna marry the father of my child. There's gotta be something else we can do. I mean, honey, this is in your field. There's something else we can do, right? You wanna, you wanna just come over and we, we, we could talk about it. No. I told you to stop riding that bike and you didn't listen to me. You're probably still smoking pot with Frankie too. I did stop riding the bike, but that's got nothing to do with it. This is genetics. My sperm are no longer maturing. Come on, come on, I'll make you some pasta. We can no. watch a movie. I don't wanna go to your stupid animal trailer right now, Gino. Come on, Rachel. Just need some time to think right now, okay? Leave me alone. And it was at that moment, that precise moment, that my life changed and I knew it. What I didn't realize was that three years later, I'd be doing this. Gino! 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 Come on, you gotta help me out here. I can't move this all by myself. <sighs> Just taste the human blood, bro. There's no telling what he might do next. Coons again. Oh, I'll get him with the broom handle. Grab me a sandwich when you're done, would you? Fight me. Can you keep it down there? I'm trying to watch Scrubs. Do you think you can make any more noise? Dang, just hit it with a shovel and get it over with already. Where's my goddamn sandwich?
Morning, John. How's it looking? It ain't pretty, Kyle. That's what I hear. Let's look inside, Bobby. Morning, Chet. Morning, Sheriff. Morning, Bobby. Morning. Damn. Here's Bud. Poor bastard must have fought like hell. Shirley's over here, Sheriff. Part of her, anyway. You'll find the rest of her over here. You okay, son? Yeah. Dang. What do you think did this, Sheriff? Some kind of wild animal? I'm not sure, Bobby. I haven't seen anything this angry since Mildred found that exotic dancer in my basement. You talked to those hippies up on the ridge? The ones that called in the fire? Yeah. They see anything? Hear anything? They were still pretty lit. One of them was saying some crazy shit about a lizard man or a space ranger running through the woods. Gee, is it freak season already? Hell, let's go for a drive. Talk to all the neighbors. Get Doris on the cans. Send out some sort of an alert. An alert for what? to watch out for something really pissed off. Let's see if these boys are home, buddy. Hey, good morning, boys. I'm Sheriff Kyle Johnson, my deputy Bobby Thomas. Good morning. Good morning. Mind stepping outside a minute? Sure. Come on over to follow me to the truck a second. Excuse me for saying, but you boys look like shit. You know, the weekend. <laughs> Tough night? I used to be young once. Hmm, you must have had a hell of a barbecue, too. Jennison, you smell that, Bobby? Yes, sir, Sheriff, sure do. Good eating. What can we do for you, Sheriff? Oh, just a couple of questions. Won't keep you. Whatever we can do. There was quite an incident last night over across the hill, over Crotchet's place. Incident? Bud and Shirley were slaughtered in their home. Ripped his shit. Place burned to the ground. Damnedest thing. One day you're shitting in high cotton, Next day, you lose it all. Damn shame. You boys must have seen or heard something. No, nothing. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah we, we were just watching the fights. Oh, the weekend. <laughs> Got it. Who could... Or what? Strangest thing? We can't figure out if it was a wild animal or a human that killed him. Something damn mean. You sure you didn't notice anything odd last night, Mr... Uh... Conte. Dr. Gino Conte. And no, sir... Nothing. Conti. Oh, yeah, I saw you on the news. You work over at them T-Gen labs. Good of you boys making bulletproof vests for our troops. Thank you. Where are you boys from? New York, New Jersey. What other kind of things you guys do out there? What are you doing coming in here this hour? Rachel and I are having some problems. I just want to get my mind off it. All right, sure. 
Oh, um, the plasmas for the chimpanzee splice, they are still not working. Still. Uh, <sighs> okay, I'll have a look at it. All right. You know, it might help you uh, get your mind off other things, all right? Good night. Hey, Frankie. Thanks. Have a good evening. All right, good night. what happened to those goddamn eggs. And where's the goddamn documentation? Well, gosh, yes, I can understand your concern, Mr. Hoffmeyer. And I'm sure there's an explanation. They died. So I destroyed them. Where's the documentation? Where's the second signature? Um, it's my fault. I meant to sign it, but I forgot. This is unacceptable. Uh, we got busy managing Lucy, and uh, I forgot. And from now on, I don't want any more transgenic eggs getting destroyed without me knowing first. You got that? Fucking Mickey Mouse zoo around. Dude, you owe me big time. And I want to know what the hell's going on around here. Nothing, Frankie. Look, I spaced. Okay, Hoffmeyer's, and you cover for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. But listen, I'm, 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 I'm tired. I just, I want to get some sleep. Gina, something happened to those eggs. Now Hoffmeyer's this close to skinning me alive, so you can cut the bullshit. I'm always there for you, bro. Stop holding out on me. Gina, when you moved out here from back east, you were devastated, right? I mean, who, who, who was here for you? Who hung out with you when nobody else was around, huh? Who got you the job interview? Who's a Kujino? All right, Frankie. Only one in four survived. What is it, Lucy and the Chimp Genome? Human reptile transgenic with my genes. Holy shit. What are, what, are we, what are we gonna call it? Him. Remember, he's half human. Oh my God. He's crying. He's gonna have human emotions. Uh, is there a name that means human? Charles. Means man. Gina, he's half Italian. We cannot call him Charles. Carlo. That's the Italian version. Yeah, Carlo. Welcome to a brave new world, Carlo. His mother, Lucy, had been engineered for accelerated development. So within a year, he was the size of a five or six-year-old human child. Take the bucket. 
Now I want you to remember, keep your mask on. No talking. You ready to have some fun? Let's go have some fun, come on. Treat. Hi. Wow, your makeup, it's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Have Thank you. Night. All right, let it go. Trick or treat! What the heck are you guys hey. doing on the porch? Yeah. Why are you being so? It's Halloween. You've got your lights on. What's Halloween, my ass. Did if no I'd known it was Halloween, I wouldn't have left my dang lights on. Okay, I understand, but your lights are on. You scared these little girls. I mean, <clears throat> the children. You scarred them. I suppose you guys ain't gonna leave till I give you something. There, right, I'll take it. Wow, well that's that's something. Look you what you made me do. Push. My dog's gone. Yeah, well, my my son. All right now, Carlo, that man, he's not a nice man. Gets my goat. Voodoo. Most people are not like him, okay? They're friendly, like Uncle Frankie. All right, go ahead. You can have a, a piece of candy. Voodoo. Carlo. After three years, he was the size of a young man, and his mental capacity was growing by leaps and bounds. Like any father, I grew to love nice. my son. I want the bed bug bite. Through television and the internet, Carlo absorbed as much pop culture as any kid. Carlo, I told you I didn't want you on Match Dot Anything. Pretty soon, it became clear that Carlo's genetic makeup was that of a predator. I didn't have to worry anymore about coyotes or mountain lions killing my animals. After a couple of weeks of letting Carlo hunt the perimeter of the property, all of the natural predators learned to stay away. At the lab, the primate lizard gene splicing never took. I made sure of it because I suspected the true nature of Hofmeyer's program. Hey, Gina. Yeah, I'm making dinner. No worries. We'll be here. Ow! Oh my god! No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just cut my finger. Oh my god, it's bleeding a lot. No, I'm all right. I, 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 all right, look, no, no, I'm fine. I gotta go. I gotta go. All right, late. <sighs> oh, oh, Carlos, stop, stop, stop. Okay, Carlos, hold this, hold this. All right, Carlos, listen to me. You do not want to hurt me, so try this. Good. All right, hold on to it. Yeah. And try another one. Another deep hit. Oh, God. Good boy. <coughs> I think you're trying to kill me.
What are you getting my son stoned for, Frankie? You need to chill out, Gino. I don't want you turning my son into a pothead. I'm sorry, Gino, but I wasn't gonna let him bite me. I mean, you've seen how on the edge he's been lately. He could have killed me. <laughs> what do you suggest we give him Prozac? Maybe I can get all kinds of SSRIs at work. See? Uh, I told you the psych meds wouldn't work. You want him to live uh, his life out like this? All right. We'll go back to the chronic. Oh, man, am I hungry. Are you hungry? Huh? Hey, Gino. We're hungry. These chips just didn't do it. Oh, I could really go for a home-cooked meal. Huh? You know, we work together. Oh, good. That's good. Is there somebody else with you? My son, Carlo. Carlo? Your son? <laughs> what are you talking to? Huh? What are you talking It's about? my foster son. Oh, Gino. You've got a good heart, huh? <laughs> well, come on in. Don't stand on the porch. Come on in. You want to sit? You're hungry, huh? You want some Aunt Rosie's meatball sandwiches? Frankie, sweetie, be a good boy. Make yourself useful. Go to the kitchen, get everybody sandwiches and coffee. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh, I've got a fresh batch of sauce on the stove and I'm making some more meatballs. You know, Dottie comes over to help me because I don't do it so good anymore. So, Carlo, sweetie, how old are you, honey? Um, he doesn't talk, Aunt Rosie. Oh, you poor thing. Life is full of challenges, huh? Just look at me. Life is cruel. Life is full of cruelties. Come over here, sweetheart. Let me get a better look at you, okay? Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, oh. what's this? Gino, he's got the eczema. Oh, oh, your Uncle Tony used to have it on his face just like this. Oh, Gino, he's got it real bad. Gino, this boy needs to go to a doctor. Oh, the poor baby. He's got the eczema and he can't talk. Oh, <laughs> you like Aunt Rosie's meatballs, huh? Oh, that's probably Dottie. You know, she's coming over to help me. Gino, be a doll. Go get the door for me, please. You got it, Aunt Rosie. Can I help you? Is Rosie here? Well, she's resting. Can I help you? Who the hell are you? Huh? I'm her nephew. Her nephew, huh? Yeah. You can give her a message. You tell bitch to give me my goddamn money. She owes me two months rent, 1,600 bones. Okay. It's okay, Gino. Let him in. It's butt crotches. And I told him I would pay him next week. Okay, Aunt Rosie, have a seat. I'll take care of it. Don't give me that bullshit, Rosie. You said Tuesday. All right, look. 
Maybe you should leave. I'm not leaving until I get my goddamn money, and you can get her this too. She's a deadbeat, just like her dead husband. Okay, I tell you what. I'll write you a check, and I'll drop it off tomorrow. Where do you live? 1920 Oak Lane. I'll throw her out on the street. I swear to God, I don't give a rat's ass if she's blind. All right, that's enough. Okay, why don't you get the hell out of here? Okay, boys, I'll be looking for it tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, boys. Thank you. That poor commissaria, he's going to be the death of me, I tell you. Aunt Rosie? How come you didn't tell me you needed money? Because I didn't want you to be involved, Gino, okay? And I got my pride, you know? Is that Carlo? Carlo, were you afraid, sweetheart? Were you afraid, honey? <sighs> Frankie, go to my room. In my right dresser drawer, there's a t-shirt there. I got something for him. I want him to have it, okay? Okay. You come here, Gino. Come here. You listen to me, huh? There's only one t-shirt in that yeah, drawer, Yeah, that's Rosie. it, that's it. Give it to Carlo to okay. try it on. Carlo, the world is a very cruel place, but you hang in there, huh? You hear? Gino, you take that boy out of the house. I don't want him to feel bad about himself, you hear me? Okay, Aunt Rosie. Take him out, take okay. him to a party. You gave him a bong hit before we left, right? We're almost out of weed, Gino. He's been smoking like a freaking chimney. We've got to score some weed tonight. All right. Okay. You ready, Carl? Scratch some fun. Oh, shit. Is that Rachel? <laughs> yep. Let's go. Stranger. Wait, I think I know you. Right, it's me, Frankie. Frankie! Oh my god! God, I didn't recognize you. That's a great costume. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. You know, I'm just you know, trying to regroup. I've been working with this life coach and he's so good. Yeah, you know, in fact, he's here with me tonight. Oscar Mendoza is your life coach? Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, I thought he was just a meathead who trained at a local gym. No, no, he's so good. He, you know what, he is helping me define my goals. Yeah, I bet. How's work? Work's work, you know, it's just like, oh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, is, is Gino here with you tonight? <laughs> yeah, but Gino is here with our friend Carlo. Oh. What is with the tails? <laughs> well, it's Mardi Gras. <laughs> it's uh, time to let your inner animal out. Psychotherapy has its own place. If you want to relieve all the problems of your past. But life coaching is completely different. It's about moving forward. So if I'm coaching you, I'll become your friend. I'll come to your house and listen to you. I mean, really listen to you. Take a walk on the beach help mentor you and guide you on your journey. <laughs> Isn't that right, Tina? It's true. He really personalizes the coaching experience. And what do I teach you, Gia? Action steps. <laughs> so, uh, here's my card. <laughs> Feel free to call me anytime. <laughs> been going on, my man? Still working at that biology place? Yeah, just trying to keep myself busy, Mendoza. Yeah? You know, in addition to coaching her, I've been practicing a little bit of biology myself with your old friend Rachel over there. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Mendoza. Do you mean that you've been working on bacterial genome transplanting or transgenic cloning? 
Or were you just making a lame-ass joke in an attempt to humiliate me? I don't need to humiliate you, Mr. Weeksburg. You did that just fine all by yourself. It's always a challenging skirmish of wits with you, Mendoza. Nice recovery, Ace. Gina, your savior didn't quite make it on time. Gina! You okay? Fuck! And why do you care? Oh, and by the way, that's not who you think he is. Oscar, I saw what you did to him, okay? It was really fucking insensitive. Gina, Carlos fine. Mendoza is the only one that can get good weed in the county. Gina, are you okay? Wanna go get a drink? Hey, Mendoza. Should be calling me next week. You've been working out at the gym? Yeah. Why? Yeah, I'm thinking I should uh, start working out myself. All right, bro. Yeah. Maybe we could spar sometime. Oh, hey! Who do you think's gonna win that fight tomorrow night? Ah, oh, dude. Batista and Evans. Oh, I wanna see that so bad. Do you have pay per view? Yeah. Undercard starts at 7 p.m., providing you bring some weed. Right on, bro. I'm so there. Yeah, I'll bring some color sticky green and some mezcal, too. Hey, Carlo! Come on, let's go. Where you been? Hey, Frankie! Come on, let's get out of here. Score some weed? Yeah, he's coming over, he's gonna watch the fights tomorrow, and he's bringing weed. Sweet. Hey, maybe you can give us uh, some life coaching in between rounds. Maybe. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Better get here soon with the weed. Hey, what's up, bro? You guys got company tonight or something? Hello, sit down. Go to your room. You hear me? Go to your fucking room! Gino! Gino! Come on, you gotta help me out here. I can't move this all by myself. This tastes of human blood, bro. Should I tell him what he might do next? Coons again. Well, Johnny, 
It's been a weird night in paradise. You're telling me, as we've been reporting two horrendous killings and now reports of some odd sightings. Am I reading this right? A lizard man? Yep. Or some sort of character. According to Crystal Eberson up at Apple Creek Campground, a few folks up there swear they saw some sort of lizard man running through the North County woods. What are they smoking up there? Not sure, but they better share it. <laughs> You're right about that. Any word from the authorities? Nothing concrete. Sounds like they're as confused as those happy campers. They did issue an alert to be vigilant for something, man or beast. Damn right. Car windows up, doors locked. I've always thought venison was best barbecued. But you two boys take her easy. Give us a call if you see or hear anything. I oh, will do, Sheriff. Well, good morning, gentlemen. I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a number, as I think that the Marines and the Cavalry are a question that's ahead of you. Very funny, Mr. Rizzoli. Morning. Can I help you, gentlemen? Agent Richard Hoffmeyer, DSO. This is Agent Jenkins. DSO. I'll be damned. Name's Kyle Johnson, a deputy Bobby Thomas. How can we help you fellas? Did you people question those campers there, Sheriff? Yeah, I did. Well, I'm gonna need to get their contact information from you. They were just a bunch of dope-smoking hippies. They didn't have anything to do with this. We'll be taking over this investigation from here on out, Sheriff, and I'll be expecting the full cooperation from your department. I reckon that'll be all right. I'll need to brief my boys on that. Do whatever you need to do, Sheriff. That's just the way it is. If we need anything, I'll be sure to let you know. All right, fine. How do you boys know these fellas? I'm not at liberty to discuss that, Sheriff. It's a matter of national security. I see. So I guess we'll be hearing from you guys. Have a good day, Sheriff. Mr. Conti, Mr. Rizzoli, I need you gentlemen over here for just a couple of minutes. All seems kind of funny to me, Sheriff. You're right there, Bobby. Pretty sure that wasn't venison. Maybe wild boar? It smelled kind of like pork to me. Whatever it was, I'm getting hungry. Well, those nerdy rascals are up to something. And them government suits, they ain't selling Bibles. Hey, get Moe's barbecue on the phone. Order a couple of pork sandwiches. My treat. Okay, ladies, where is it? What are you talking about, Hoff? This lizard man everybody's screaming about. <laughs> you guys are as high as those campers. Listen, clown, someone's been sabotaging this project from day one, and we know it can't be you. It's just too complicated. There's no lizard boy. You guys are delusional. I need to hit something. Can I hit something? Listen, Mr. Conti, Mr. Rizzoli, there's a few too many coincidences going on here. Some eggs go missing from the Chimera unit, and then a couple of years later, this happens? You guys are still obsessed with that? You guys are paranoid. You know what? I'd like to know why you've never been straight up with the goal of this project. I, I think you sick twists are probably trying to create some super killing transgenic animal. Am I right, Frankie? I don't think you should be asking questions like this, Mr. Conti. The final goal of this project is none of your business. So I suggest you keep your head down and mouth shut. Now you seem like an informed individual, Gino. I'm sure you folks have heard of black sites. Places where we send people who we deem to be threats to national security. No habeas corpus, no attorney, just poor little Gino, and God knows how many days of agony ahead of him. Listen, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna meet at the lab in about an hour. Seems like this train has come off the track and you're gonna help me fix it. Don't try to go anywhere, because we'll know where you are. Gino. Can this get any weirder? When the hell did he get out? Did you hear anything? Hear anything? <laughs> I was a bit distracted by uh, burying a decapitated drunk dude, remember? Carlo, he'll be okay, he'll be back. Sure that's a good thing? Hey, he's still our Carlo, Frankie. He would never hurt us. He's tasted human blood, Gino. And I would like to keep all of mine. I told you he would never hurt us. Okay, so what now? A lizard whisperer? We need to get to the lab before those two goons. Yeah, let's uh, jump headfirst into the fire. Where are my backup discs? Carlo files. <laughs> God 
damn it, Gino. Something like that. Here, take this. A tranquilizer gun. <laughs> and you said you weren't worried. Behavior modification. I want him safe, just in case. Lab waste. What's going on? Dobson called some sort of emergency meeting. Hoffmeyer and Jenkins? Another witch hunt? Okay then. Uh, what are you guys looking for? Maybe I can help. And I want passwords to all the computers. The keys to these cabinets by yesterday. You got that, Dobson? Uh, okay, I people. Mean... It's party time, and we're gonna play a little game called Let's find the answers, because right now, I'm perplexed. Do I look perplexed? Yes, sir. Very perplexed. You always look like that. We've given this lab proper samples, exceptional resource materials, and plenty of financial motivation, and all we've gotten in return are these dismal results. It pains me to think this, but I feel someone in our tightly knit little family here is holding back. Somebody's got some very important information that may be alive and kicking. So here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna give me the chain of custody logs, and we're gonna go through all the questionable findings together. Does that make sense? Any questions, Mr. Conti? No, nothing. Very well. Oh, a, a couple of more things. This lab is now mine, totally under my jurisdiction. And to help create that family cohesiveness we talked about, I've invited a couple of friends over to uh, visit for a while. Family, meet your new nannies. One of them will be with you in the labs at all times. <laughs> Let's party. Dobson, passwords. Gino, meet me in my place tonight. I have something I have to share with you. Wow. Really sweet of you, Jules, but I, I don't think this is a really good time for me right now. You know, Gino, for a genius, you can be a real idiot. You need to see this. Seven o'clock. Ball personnel left the building? Yeah, the little one's finally leaving. Sweet. I don't even know what the heck we're doing here. Except maybe to intimidate these poor bastards. Yeah, well, uh, I do. Get off my slope. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm getting ready to kick your ass is what I'm How'd you get to my level so fast? Dude, I'm a gamer, I'm a baller. We've been working together, Gina. Three years. About that. Why? I've covered for you quite a bit, I think. I've covered for you when called in sick. I've done countless pronucleus injections for you. I filled out your tissue culture locks when you forgot to, which is pretty much every week. I appreciate everything that you do, Jules. You're a goddamn slacker. But you're a fucking brilliant scientist. Mm. Your innovations in recombinant DNA still blow me away. Transgenic biologists everywhere owe you a debt of gratitude, Gino. But you can never put your name on this project because it's classified. And I know that bothers the hell out of you. What's your point, Jules? I think I have something that you've been looking for. Where did you get that? You left it sitting out unsecured on your desk. Oh, damn. I understand, Virginia. You need to confide in someone. You need to confide in me. Dude, dude, you totally screwed my guy. I don't think so. Dude, look at him, he's skiing like Bodie Miller after like an all night drunken escapade, dude. <laughs> yeah, you think you're ahead, don't you? You think you're ahead? And. End of story. Dude, you suck. Undefeated. You know what? You can pour yourself a glass and shut the hell up. Why I go outside and have a smoke break? Yeah, I'll go ahead. Whatever, whatever. All right. 
think about what I'm trying to teach you. I was in New York. I was married for a brief time. This beautiful woman, Daniela. And we had a son. Beautiful kid named Anthony. He was a gorgeous kid. He meant everything to me. But it turns out. He had a rare bone disorder called Gorham's disease. Daniela so devastated she had to move back to me to be with their family. How did you know that? Your cousin Frankie drinks a bit. I'm so sorry, do you know? And when I moved out here, I started working at teacher and I thought someday, maybe. I could find a cure. Gino. You will find a cure. You just have to have faith. Things are so messed up now. I can't even begin to tell you. Giant lizard came out of nowhere. Morning, Hoffmeyer. Trouble seems drawn to you like mouths to a bug whacker. We'll take it from here, Sheriff. And why doesn't that thought ease my ulcer? A few of the locals said they saw a lot of strange things hopping out of this building last night. Blowing cats, mice. Found the guard out here. He said they had quite a run-in with some sort of huge lizard. Well, I think... He might be delusional from what appears to be a very traumatic incident. Sheriff, I wouldn't take anything he says too seriously. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. This is terrible. Terrible! A lab! What happened to the guard? He's bit by some kind of giant lizard. This is the last time we're going to tell you, Sheriff. You and your men need to clear out. What Jenkins means, Sheriff, is that... We've got some uh, government arrangement, you know, classified military projects and all. And we sure would hate to muck up your office with a bunch of red tape. I think you know what I mean. Do me a favor, Hoffmeyer. Keep your circus under the big top. You're scaring the spectators. Oh my word, Lucy. That man is gonna need antibiotic injections or Lucy's saliva will kill him. He may already be severely septic. We'll take care of it. I suggest maybe you go home. We're gonna cordon off the area and bring in some damage control. But what about our equipment, our experiments? 
That is no longer any of your concern, Mr. Dobson. But I have special antibiotics in the lab that can help save that man's life. That man killed Lucy. I could care less what happens to him. All right, federal agents, everybody clear out. You'll be taken into custody if you do not leave right now. Hello? Oh, hi, Fred. Um, no, he was here last night, but uh, he said he had some errands to run today. Why, what happened? Oh my god. Uh, okay. Gino! It's okay! Are you alright? Tell me what's going on, Gino. Please. What is he, Gino? He's my son. He's half human. Half transgenic. Lizard. Pro nuclear micro injection? Yeah. But how did you get Lucy's embryos to express the integrated trans genes? It never worked before. I developed a new plasmid vector. Oh, Gino, that's fantastic. But you're you're just letting him run wild. Lucy was bred to kill Gino. You ran away. I thought I had a handle on him. I didn't. He killed somebody the other night. I'm gonna have to find him and stop him before Hoffmeyer does. You have to let me go with you. No, it's too dangerous. You're going to need my help, Gino. We have to capture him alive. Think of the scientific possibilities. The diseases that could be cured. Severed limbs that could be regrown. Okay. But we have to move right away. I'm game. I'm sure he went deep into Live Oak Canyon. He feels safe there. And he can hunt. What's this? Formed, unfinished, sent before my time into this breathing world scarce half made up. And that so lamely and unfashionable a dog's bark as I hold my mouth. What is that? Is that Shakespeare? Richard III. Shakespeare. My boy reads Shakespeare. There's more of that quote, you know. I, in this weak piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away the time, except to spy my own shadow in the sun and descant on my own deformity. And therefore, since I cannot prove a lover to entertain these farewell spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain. Shakespeare! My boy reads Shakespeare! He's saying he's going to do bad things, Gino. We have to stop him or he's going to kill more people! Well, well. Mr. Conti. Nice to see you socializing with your co-workers. Down on your knees, now! Get him.
we know what you've been up to, scumbag. It's time for you to come clean. I don't know what you're talking about. Come now, Mr. Conti. Do you think we're totally incompetent? Do I have to answer that? You think you got it all figured out, don't you? Mr. Conti, you think you're ready to play God? You think you got the balls to play God? Okay, I got the balls to play the devil. Now I'm Satan himself, and all hell's gonna come crashing down on your head if I don't get what I'm looking for real quick. See, we were listening outside to your little conversation. We know it's half human. We know it's half transgenic lizard. And now you're gonna tell us exactly where it is. For some time now, Mr. Conti, You've been very interested in what my specialty is. One of my specialties is what we call severe behavior modification. And I can tell you with all confidence that when I'm done with you, you will tell us everything. He was here a while ago. He, I don't know where. A tranquilizer pistol. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Conti. Listen, I want that thing alive. Bag him and load him up. Give me that other trank gun. I got a feeling that thing's real close. And help me tear this dump apart. Check the closet. What's gonna happen to us? Oh, I think that was just a warm up in there. <laughs> I want that thing alive. Lock him up! I'm so sorry I got you mixed up in this, Julie. It's okay, Gino. I guess none of us realized who we were really working for. place. Sounds like the circus got loose. Let's go, Bobby. All right, come on. He's dead, Sheriff. It's a trail of blood leaning that way. I 
I broke my ankle. Oh. Oh shit. Hey, Sheriff. Deputy. Hold on, Bobby. No, you hold on, Sheriff. I think we'll leave Deputy right where he is. What the hell are you doing, Hoffmeyer? Put the gun down and help me here. I can't do that, Sheriff. Nothing personal. Nothing personal? You have a gun in my face? Some animal out there eating my citizens? That's not personal? You're in our way, Sheriff. <laughs> Be damned. No! Oh, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Ah! Oh, get off me, Bobby! Ow, oh, my ankle! Oh, my back! Oh, my God, it's cut off! What the? Oh. God damn geek squad on the loose again. You son of a bitch. Frankie! Frankie! Carlo! 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 The killing has to stop. Come with me. I am an abomination. I am not your dead son. No, but I'm your father. And I love you. Carlo. So, you're a killer. A freak after my own heart. Come on, show yourself. I'll even the odds for you.
He bit me. I can't stop the septicemia. I'm not gonna make it out of here. No, you're gonna be okay. Okay? You're gonna be fine. Face to face. I've dreamt about you since before you came into this world. You know, I'm the reason you're alive. Your father, Gino, he may have formed you and hatched you, but you wouldn't exist if it weren't for me. I can, I can show you the reason you're alive. I can help you fulfill the promise of your existence. Come with me, come with me. Okay then, I can play that game. Shirt off my Like a certain character from an old gothic novel, I do not hate my creation. In fact, I love Carlo, and I know that at least a part of him loves me. The truth is, Carlo is the product of an animal and genetic material not from me, but that of my deceased son. In the end, it was my own love that drove me beyond the bounds of ethics. Johnny, 
another weird day yesterday in Cuesta County. So they're telling us it was a series of rabid mountain lion killings? I kid you not, Bill. Apparently, Deputy Bobby Thomas and Sheriff Johnson were found in a hole in the ground in Live Oak Canyon. Deputy Thomas, who suffered a broken ankle, swears it was some kind of wild animal, possibly a rabid mountain lion or several mountain lions that killed a couple of federal agents and uh, one local resident. And what about Sheriff Johnson? Well, Bill, it appears he is being held for psychiatric evaluation in the county mental ward. Well, we wish him a speedy recovery. Hi, Mom? Yeah, I'm at the doctor's office. I'm getting the ultrasound. The doctor says that the baby's healthy, and it's a boy. I know. I wish she was still alive to see them too. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye. Hmm. Well, this is strange. What? What is it? It's something with the tailbone. 